Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Calvary Kids Connection, and by the way, Merry Christmas! It's good to have you with us for another round of Calvary Kids Connection, but I want to make the announcement, we're going to take the next couple of weeks off. We're going to take off for Christmas and New Year's, so this will be the last one until next year, until 2021. Anyway, just wanted to let you know that we are going to have a fun time today. It's good to see you all. I haven't been around for a while for Calvary Kids Connection, but it's been going really well. And so I just want everybody to have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let me pray for you. Father, I just pray for this day and this video, that God, that you would bless it. I pray for those who watch it, God, that you would be with them, that you would protect them and watch over them. I just pray that you would give everybody a, ha a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And so, Father, once again, we just thank you for the great gift of salvation that you have given us through your precious Son, Jesus Christ. And we just pray that we would live worthy of that gift. And so, Father, I just lift all to you that you would bless. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a fun time with us. And again, we look forward to seeing you in the future. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi, kids. Welcome back to Calvary Kids Connect. I'm Teacher Phoebe, and today we have an exciting video planned for you guys. First, we will be going into the memory verse review. Then we will be followed up by some worship and praise where you can get your boogie on as we're worshiping the Lord. Then we will go into our teaching with Teacher Chris. And finally, we will have a puppet show, a Christmas themed puppet show with Monica and Ryan. But let's, before we begin all that fun stuff, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day, Lord. I pray that your word doesn't go out void, Lord, and that everybody learns a little bit more about you today, Lord. We praise you and we thank you, and thank you for bringing us here. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get started with the memory verse review. So the memory review verse is in Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 through 26. I still don't know it yet. Oh, I need to learn it soon, but I know some of our friends have. But let's go over it together. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit is it to man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Matthew chapter 16 verses 24 through 26. All right, guys, give yourselves a round of applause. That was some awesome practicing. Now let's get our boogie on and worship our Lord and Savior through worship and praise. John 8, 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the Lord.
fun having some worship and praise now, wasn't it? You guys caught me dancing a little bit too. Now let's get into our teaching with Teacher Chris. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be back here with you today. And today we'll talk <clears throat> about the birth of Jesus Christ and who God brought to visit him in the very early part of his life. Um, but before we do, let's go ahead and open a prayer. Lord, thank you so much for uh, the church, Lord, that we're able to get together, even virtually, Lord, to, to study a word, to get a better understanding, Lord, and to grow in our faith. Lord, we thank you for Jesus, our Savior, uh, who you sent to earth, Lord, and that he was willing to die for our sins, Lord, that we could spend eternity with you. Lord, we pray that we would spread the good news of this to those in our lives who don't know, Lord. And we pray that we would just enjoy this Christmas uh, and also remember the reason that we're celebrating, Lord. Father, I pray the Holy Spirit helps us to learn and understand the scripture today. And I just pray for everyone's family, Lord, that you're with them and, and that they're doing well. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, so like I said, we're going to talk about Jesus' birth and uh, who was able to visit him. Uh, so the first people that we'll talk about, uh, we read about in Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 16. So I'm going to go ahead and read that for you guys. Uh, starting in Luke chapter 2, verse 8, <clears throat> it says, Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and, and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. So this first group that we read about is obviously the shepherds. Um, and who came to tell the shepherds about Jesus? Well, we, as we read, there was an angel and the glory of the Lord shone around them. So the shepherd's first response was they were a little fearful. I mean, you can imagine being out in the field with your sheep and um, when it talks about the glory of the Lord, you just imagine this bright light <clears throat> and an angel standing before you, you know. But the angel told him, what? Don't be afraid. So I think that's uh, one of the most important parts uh, that we read here is the message that the angel had for the shepherds, uh, which it was says, I bring you good tidings of great, great joy, which will be to all people. So the angels saying to have good news, joyful news, that's going to be for all people. And we know what that good news is. We know that that good news is the birth of Jesus Christ. So, um, and the angel even goes on to say that when he says, For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. So the angel told, um, told the shepherds that there was a baby born that was going to be Christ the Lord, the Savior. And then he told them where to go. Uh, in verse 12, it says, and this will be the sign to you. So basically, when you go look for him, look for this. You'll find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths lying in a manger. So we're probably all very familiar with the, that, that picture from the nativity scene that we see. Uh, but, and then from there, another, I think, cool part of it is in verse 13, it says, And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So just this really amazing um, scene, basically, that we read about in the Bible. And that was one of the first groups that uh, God called to go see Jesus. So what did, what did the shepherds do in response to that? Well, they went to Bethlehem because they wanted to see what God was talking about. So, so they did. Uh, so that was the first group, and really what, like I said, what we can kind of take away from that passage is it was specifically shared who Jesus was and why he was born, and and that it was great news. It was great news for all people, not just Jews, not just Israelites. It was good news for, for everyone, which is good for us because obviously we don't live in Israel, 
Uh, we're not Jewish, but we have access to Jesus because uh, he was born for all of us. He, was, he, come, he came to save every person who was willing to believe in him and repent of their sin. So the second group or person really we'll read about is also in Luke chapter 2. These are, this is verses 28 through 33. So let me read those starting at verse 28. He took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, so he refers to Simeon. Uh, and Simeon took up Jesus in his arms, blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. So Simeon, God actually uh, shared with Simeon that he wouldn't die before he saw the Messiah be born and lay eyes on him. So that's what we read about. God fulfilled his promise. Simeon saw Jesus Christ. And God told him who he was. So now Simeon can depart in peace because um, that was just how passionate and how much Simeon loved God that he was excited to, to see the Messiah, which who wouldn't be, right? Uh, so a couple of things here. Again, it says in verse 31, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. So again, another reminder that Jesus wasn't just born for the Israelites or the Jews. He was born for all people. And God, and God um, prepared, prepared bringing Jesus before, for all people to see. Um, so just another cool example there. Uh, Simeon was a righteous man of Jerusalem. So we have kind of two different groups now. We have the shepherds who were Israelites um, then we have Simeon, who was a righteous, a righteous Jew living in Jerusalem. And then the last group uh, we read about in Matthew chapter 2, verses 8 through 12. And starting Matthew 2, starting in verse 8. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, so he refers to King Herod. So he refers to King Herod. Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, bring back word to me that I may come and worship him also. So King Herod is saying that he wants to know where Jesus is so he, he can worship him. It's not true. Herod's jealous and really just wants to kill Jesus. Uh, verse 9, when they heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. So this is a third group. So we have the shepherds of Israel. We have Simeon of Jerusalem, who was a Jew. And now we have um, wise men who are Gentiles. So God's really just showing that Jesus was born for all people. So as I mentioned, Herod wanted to send these wise men that he was hearing of a king that was born. Um, he didn't want another king around, so he was hoping to learn where Jesus was so that he could kill him. Uh, but the wise men had different plans as we look at the bottom. So what was, how were uh, the wise men directed to find Jesus? Well, it says there was a star that guided them basically to where they were. It went before them until it came and stood over where the young child was. So uh it's it's whether it was a real star or uh it doesn't seem like herod saw the star when you see when you read later in the bible uh it doesn't really matter because whether it was god can god made creation he made the universe so he can create any combination of celestial events that he wants um or maybe it was just something that a sign for the wise men that only they saw which obviously is possible too with god the most important thing is that the wise men saw a star that directed them to Jesus. That was how they got there. It's possible that the wise men were um, astrologers also. Just they studied the, the sky, the stars, um, to, to look for signs. So God ministered to them in that way and, and used what they're familiar with, I suppose, to guide them to Jesus. Um, so <clears throat> he brought them to Jesus. They, they found Jesus where the star stopped and said that he was. 
and immediately fell down and worshiped him. So it's just, um, you see just the people's responses when they have encounters with Jesus and uh, the wise men fell to the ground. The shepherds were fearful when they saw the glory of God before them, you know, and uh, I think that in our own lives, as we come to know Jesus more and more, especially, or you hear um, really faithful, mature people in the faith, it's just amazing what God does. And uh, I think there's a similar response in our hearts where we just, as we realize more and more who Jesus is and the glory of God and how good he is, how can we help but worship him? So pretty awesome there. Um, they brought frankincense and myrrh, so the wise men were probably wealthy, you know, so we have shepherds who were in, wasn't a desirable job, most likely were more um, poor, uh, whereas we had the wise men who were wealthier. So yeah, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter your social status, how much money you have or don't have, uh, Jesus was born for all of us, that we can all have salvation. We know material possession means nothing anyway. You know, none, none of those, none of our material possessions, none of our stuff goes with us to heaven. It's uh, really just about living for the glory of God. Um, so when they came into the house, so this wasn't in the manger. It wasn't exactly when Jesus was born. It was probably a few months after he was. Um, they saw Jesus with Mary, and like I said, fell down and worshiped him presented him the gold, the frankincense, and myrrh, and then um, they were divinely warned. So that means God uh, gave them a message similar to he did his, uh, with other people in the past. Uh, don't go back to where you came from. Don't go back to Herod. Don't tell him where Jesus is because obviously Jesus or Herod had plans to kill Jesus. So, so they didn't. They were obedient, and they just went back to their own country. So... So what, what can we learn today? Uh, I think most importantly, as I said, who Jesus was, uh, why he was born, uh, which says, for there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. So that's who Jesus is. We read that in Luke chapter 2, verse, uh, verse 11. Uh, we read in all these instances that are really the three instances show that God's Jesus was born for all people, as it was stated in several of those verses. So... Uh, it's good news, great news, great news we can be joyful about, and I just pray that we remember that during this holiday, well, during this Christmas season, as that's the, Jesus is the reason that we celebrate. So uh, let's close out in prayer. Lord, we thank you again for the time we're able to spend studying your, your word, Lord. We thank you for Jesus Christ, the good news, Lord. We're so joyful over the news that we have, uh, and that Jesus was born for all of us, Lord, and and each individual personally, Lord. So just really, really thankful, Lord. I pray for everyone's families and pray they have a great Christmas, Lord, and everyone's doing well. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much to Teacher Chris for delivering us the Word of God about Christmas. Now let's go on to the puppet show. <laughs> All done. It looks beautiful and sparkly. Hmm, what, what's that? Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Is Ryan singing? Let earth receive her king. Wow, it sounds like someone is filled with the Christmas spirit. Well, of course, and I'm singing to practice for our Christmas caroling we will be doing on Christmas. I have to make sure my Vocal cords are warmed up. In fact, let me go over some vocal exercises, and you should join me too, Monica. You've been sounding a little off-key during Joy to the World. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. Me, 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 me. Now higher. Me, 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 me. Higher. Me, 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 me. Come on, Monica. A little more effort, please. <gasps> okay, I think that's enough practice for today. Enough practice? Monica, we haven't even finished our the vocal warm-ups, so we can start practicing. Well, you can take the lead with singing, and I'll stick to taking the lead with our Christmas tree. Okay, I guess. But hey, that Christmas tree came out so beautiful. Good job, Monica. Thank you. I just hope Mom likes it. Of course you will, and Grandma will too, once they come home from the grocery store. All the Christmas songs, 
and all the Christmas lights are making me filled with the Christmas spirit. Yup, I'm just so excited for this special holiday. But we can't forget the real reason of Christmas, that Christmas lights represent Jesus being the light of the world, the exchanging presents as Jesus is the gift of salvation, and the wise men also gave Jesus gifts. Oh, and why we put a star on top of the tree? It represents the star of Bethlehem. Oh, yes. Why don't we have a, the audio Bible read us the Christmas story? It would be a nice refresher since it's Christmas time. Of course. Audio Bible, please read from the book of Luke. Luke chapter 2, verses 6 through 17. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her first son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you, you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds, said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child. Luke chapter 2, verses 6 through 17. End. Wow, don't you just love this story? Of course I do. It's just amazing that the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, the all-powerful, almighty Father came down from heaven to be born in a manger, to grow up as one of us, just to understand us. And then eventually he would die for us and rise again to, and save us from our sins. It's just amazing to know that the creator of the universe cares about us and knows us by our name. I love it for the same exact reason. Christmas is the time to remember family and loved ones, but it's important to remember the most important thing of all, that Jesus is the reason for the season. And we need to share the gospel everywhere we go because just like the love we feel in our hearts right now, we want other people to feel the same. And boys and girls, our friends who are watching this, thank you so much for watching all of our videos this year. We hope that you guys have a very Merry Christmas as well. And of course, a Happy New Year too. You can't forget about that one, Monica. Well, you said it was good. So friends, make sure your heart is right with Jesus because Jesus is the one who loves it the most. And if your heart is with Jesus, then tell a friend or family member so they can know the love too. Hey kids, come help me and grandma with the groceries. Okay, hey, mom. mom. Well, guys, I guess, uh, see you later. Have a wonderful Christmas. And remember guys, sing on correct key for Joy to the World, unlike Monica. Ugh, whatever, Ryan. At least the tree looks good. Goodbye, guys. Have a wonderful Christmas. And remember, share the light of Jesus that is within you. With everyone. Bye. 
All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Monica and Ryan's Adventures Christmas Edition. But now that we have come to an end, let's close in prayer. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. I thank you so much for giving us the opportunity with our friends watching this video right now so we can learn more about you, Lord. We pray and we thank you, Lord, that you'll give us safe Charlie mercies for the week for wherever we go and give us a lovely Christmas as we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys, and remember, we are back live at church according to the CDC regulations. Bye, guys. Hopefully we see you soon.